they just just shad. Just huh? shad. Yep, threadfin shad. Hook them right. through the nose. Fire them out there and uh, see what eats them. Just cast bomb it back. Cast bomb it way back there to the right. All right. First cast. You want me to put a second rod out? If you want in to. In case. Yeah. You know, whatever. Double our chances of. Why not? Why not? I'm out here peacock bass fishing in Florida. Yesterday I went shark fishing with my girlfriend. I'll link that video down below if you guys want to see that. But today I'm I'm gonna try to catch my peacock PB peacock bass. This is uh my my PB is only like a pound pound and a half maybe. I caught it last week, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. There's also clown nightfish and 12 pound largemouth and hybrids, which are like striped bass and striped bass and what was the other part of it? What's that? Stri the hybrid one, striped bass and. Uh, they're, uh Sunshine bass. You okay, know, they're called they're, sunshine bass. That's technically what they're gotcha. called. Gotcha. Okay, so we got a lot of species that we can we can catch out here. We're fishing with shad though, live bait. Just killing a few hours. I uh, fell asleep on the beach yesterday and completely fried my skin. So I decided I'm gonna go fishing instead of chilling on the beach. There we go. First, first fish. Wonder what, what do we got here? It may, may or may not be my PB. It's not going to be harder to be. So we've got an option of largemouth, some uh, some sunshine bass, some peacocks. It's fighting like a bass, but I don't know a whole lot about peacock bass. Little baby peacock. It's a pretty one though. Look at that guy. There we go. Didn't break the PB, but you know, first first little peacock bass of the other day. See, you, buddy. Well, that was fun. There's one. This feels a little bit bigger. This feels a little bit bigger. Oh man, this this may be it. This may be the old PB. I said it's not gonna take much, but it's this thing. This dude just splashed and we nailed it. So you guys like to fight? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a big largemouth. Oh god, it's a big largemouth. <laughs> That's so awesome. There's a big cold front that came through, so the fishing's actually, according to, to Bill, kind of somewhat slow. So we're going with the live live bait approach today. That's that's kind of our best bet. I only have like two hours here to fish. There we go. <laughs> there we go, boys. We got a freaking like three and a half pound largemouth. That's a good fish. That's a nice fish. I like that. I think it's about four. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. Four four and a half pound largemouth. Look how look how fat that dude is. It's a it's a nice little fish. See you, Jimmy. Well, first fish is a peacock. Second fish is a four-pound largemouth. That's uh, that's Florida fishing for you. You never, you never know what you're gonna get. I got one. We got doubles. Got we got doubles. I don't know if mine's very big or not. It's fighting pretty good though. Well, caught a flare fish here. Is it a pretty good one? It's a better peacock. Is it a good peacock? It's uh, my second peacock of the day. Look how beautiful these fish are. See you, Richard. What do we got going on here? We got a we had a double up here. And we got a we got a bigger peacock. There we go. That's a nice little peacock. I just can't get over how like cool these fish are. Like. So All the colors on them, orange and red eyes. That's awesome. Great fish. All right, we're starting to starting to get them kind of figured out here. That's three peacocks and a largemouth. Quick tip for you guys. Is this okay if I share that tip? The Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to take all your... Let me know if I'm taking your secrets. Okay. Quick tip is uh, you hook them below the throat, and that makes them swim down. So if the fish are down by... If you're using live bait, which I don't do all that often, but if you guys are using live bait, then you hook them there if you want them to, uh, to go deeper, like if the bass or whatever you're targeting is on the bottom. Otherwise, you can hook them in the, in the dorsal, which is the top fin, or, you know, in the lips if you just kind of want them to swim swim horizontal but if you want them to swim down you hook them right under the throat just a quick tip i mean i like to give tips this isn't really a traditional fishing a flare video but i'll give i'll give you guys some tips there's a fish oh oh this feels pretty good it feels pretty good oh it's a largemouth i think yeah that's a big largemouth oh my gosh another good size largemouth there we go Another, you can tell, you can totally tell the difference between normal, I should say normal, but the bass I normally catch and then Florida bass, like the colors are just way different. So we've got three peacocks and two largemouth. Catching, catching some good fish. See, buddy. There's a fish. 
Ooh, ooh, I'm feeling peacock on this one. When you're when you're reeling them in, can you tell if it's a peacock the way they fight? Yeah, they shake their head a lot. Do they? Okay, I was gonna say this guy's shaking his head a little bit. I don't know if I could ever get tired of catching these things. They're like just crazy. All right, I think that's like the the fourth peacock. No giants yet, but I just I can't get over how the kind of cool these fish look. I'm just they're gorgeous. See you, Jeff. Well, I haven't broken the PB yet, but we're uh, we're making progress. We're catching we're catching a lot of fish. You can't complain about catching fish. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. I'm just setting this pole out on the on the little rod holder, and this dude just munched it. You think this is it? This might be this may be the PB. Oh, there we go. That's that's a good peacock. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't weigh the first one that I caught, but that's. You think that's two? So that's probably about the same, about the same, same size. This may be the PB. I don't know. So right there, that's that's the biggest peacock that I have. So the males have a hump on their head. The females don't. So this is a this is a little female. She's pretty. She's a pretty fat one. That's a good. That's a good fish. I'm not gonna claim it be my PB. I think it is. I'm not gonna claim it though, just because I'm not 100% positive, and I don't wanna I don't wanna make any stories up here. But see ya, Felicia. Well, we've caught quite a few peacocks. Four or five. And a couple good sized largemouth. I'm on Lake Ida in by Delray Beach. That's where I'm I'm staying here. And Captain Bill, he's got a guide service. What's it called? South Florida Bass Charters. South Florida Bass Charters. So if you guys want to do what we're doing today, and you catch a lot of other fish, clownfish and right? Clownfish, is that what they're called? Fish. Clown knife fish. That's what they I, I think clownfish, I think a Nemo. Clown knife fish. If you want to do this or whatever, you go check them out. I'll link his Instagram and all that stuff below. If you guys want to, if you guys want to book a guide trip to come catch peacock bass. It's kind of like something that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. And I did it last week a little bit. I caught one, but I mean, we've caught five in an hour. It's pretty, pretty incredible. And there are some big largemouth. He said there's what a 13 pound largemouth came out of here and just, just fun stuff overall but we're gonna we're gonna keep on fishing for just a little bit longer and then uh we'll head out maybe go down to the beach and hang out with my with macy or something for a little bit but for now we're gonna we're gonna keep on bass fishing yeah anything that stuff that i could like I could oh oh gosh that's a good one i don't know if it's a large rather or not it's a big fish though it's a good it's a really good fish i literally just picked up this pole after releasing that that last peacock and this dude just munched it oh it's a big peacock yeah here we go i think this is it there we go. Yep, that's it. Well, there you have it, folks. There is. You don't have a scale, do you? Yes. All right. Let's throw on. Let's throw on the scale just, just for fun, just so I have a, a reference if we end up catching a little bit bigger one. But look how just beautiful these fish are. I can't get over it. So the PB Peacock is 2.3 pounds. That's a good fish. Well, there you have it, folks. That look how just I can't believe these fish. These are like I feel like I'm fishing in the Amazon. That is the old, the old PB Special Peacock. We're gonna say goodbye to Becky here. See you, Becky. Broke the old PB. Didn't take too long. That's crazy. That's I was literally releasing that last peacock. Went down, grabbed another one. This is this is and this is like a slow day, right? Because it's cold. I mean, this isn't this isn't like crazy. These are in optimum conditions. Yeah. So this is this is a slow day, and it's by far the best the best peacock bass fishing day I've ever had. This is this is incredible. We're gonna. Oh oh, we got one over here. There's a fish. Oh. Okay, all right. I'm thinking it's a peacock. Gosh, they just don't, they don't give up. Look at the colors on that one. I think it is, isn't it? I think it's bigger than two, three. I might've just broke my PB twice. So this is a male. This is a male. Okay, so we got a, got, a little male. that's my you first, just, that's my first you male. see it starting. Not, it's not a big one, it's a starter, it's a starter hump. All right, so we got to break two, three. See if we can do it. I think it's gonna be close. Are you serious? <laughs> two, two, three. three? Again. I just tied the PB. Not even. Not even two. Here you go. No. Well, it's not gonna work. It's not. Two. It's two, three. Two, three. Two, three on the money, huh? All right. There we go, guys. That's. I just tied my PB. <laughs> I didn't break it. But that is a male. That's kind of cool. That's my first. It's my first male. You guys can see the colors on that. That's uh. That's awesome. See you later, Gerald. Oh. Oh. Oh, gone. Tied the PB, didn't break it. <laughs> of course. Couldn't even been an ounce, an ounce more. Still catching, catching some good, some good peacocks. All right, I'm leaving. I'm walking away. Captain Bill put me on the freaking juice. I was only fishing for like an hour and a half. And we caught more peacocks than I've ever even come close to catching. I've only caught one peacock other than 
what we caught today and I broke my PB almost twice. I tied I tied it for the second time. But Macy has the rental car. She's she said she's at the beef jerky outlet. I'm not sure what that is, but it kind of gets me excited. I like beef jerky. So I'm walking through the parking lot. Just gonna kind of relax and chill until she gets here and then uh, eat some beef jerky and go lay out on the beach. How's it going? <laughs> we are back. She picked me up in the rental car. Let me see what you bought. She went shopping while I went fishing. She actually bought something that I enjoy. <laughs> we got some bomb ass beef jerky. We got some uh, Cajun BBQ flavored smoked beef brisket and fire, Tennessee moonshine fireball cinnamon flavored beef jerky. So, got some, uh, got some beef. <laughs> What's so funny? Pita, people eating tasty animals. <laughs> All right, well, shout out to Beef Jerky Outlet. Hooking us up fat with the, uh, the bomb jerky. I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys wanna set, like I said, if you guys want to go out with Captain Bill, I'll leave all the stuff down below. Super chill dude if you wanna catch some peacocks. Clown night fish, which we didn't actually catch today. I guess they're nocturnal feeders, so they're better like low light conditions. And some good largemouth. And uh, Lake Ida, so by Delray Beach, West Palm Beach, that area. If you guys want, if you guys wanna go fishing, uh, I see this information's down below. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go lay out on the beach. Hope you guys enjoyed catching, watching me catch my PB peacock bass. Not, not the biggest, hopefully I'll be able to break it. Um, next time I'm in Florida, which I might not be down peacock bass fishing in Florida till like October. I think they said October, November is like the, the prime time to be back. So I'll probably come back then. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Oh, there goes that one.